We are currently experiencing the end of the Ice Age. 2024 could be considerably hotter than this year because we may be on the verge of an Ice Age termination event. It all began almost 2.5 million years ago, and scientists are still attempting to find out how it works. The Milankovic theory, of course, explains the periodic changes in Earth's temperature, but there are still many unanswered concerns. During an ice age, there are frigid times when glaciers spread which are known as glacial cycles. The warm periods, known as interglacial periods when glaciers melt, are the polar opposite of this. Scientists used to believe we were in one of these warm periods, but new research indicates that something else is happening right now. Temperatures are rising rapidly and glaciers are melting and methane could be to blame for this. The last time this happened, tundras became tropical and odd animals like glyptodons, a type of huge armored armadillos, began to populate the earth. So where precisely are we going? Follow along in this video to find out. Hello and welcome to Z, subscribe the channel and ring the bell to receive our daily videos. What exactly is an ice age? First and foremost, let me remind you what an ice age is. Ice ages occur when massive sheets of ice cover enormous areas of land. They have the potential to last millions of years and significantly alter the terrain. There have been several major glaciations throughout Earth's history. The most recent happened between 2.6 million and 11,700 years ago during the Pleistocene epoch. Early humans, such as Homo erectus and early Homo sapiens, had to adapt to the hardships of the ice ages and milder interglacial periods throughout this time. The ice ages had a significant impact on human civilization. Massive glaciers grew and contracted, paving the way for new human migratory routes. Early humans left Africa and traveled into Eurasia, demonstrating their capacity to adapt to new settings. The world was substantially different back then than it is now. Land bridges, such as the Bering Land Bridge, linked Asia and North America, allowing animals and early humans to cross continents. England was likewise quite close to, if not connected to, Europe. This is why historians have discovered man-made stone tools in England that originated in southern Italy. However, many huge animal species became extinct during the Pleistocene period, presumably as a result of human hunting and climatic change. The Pleistocene eventually gave way to the Holocene, a more stable time. Humans began to practice agriculture and form early communities, laying the groundwork for the emergence of human civilization. Scientists believe that we are now living in an interglacial epoch. Glacials and Interglacials Periods As previously stated, the Earth has gone through both colder and warmer phases throughout its current glacial phase. A graph depicts how the temperature and ice volume vary during these periods. The colder eras, known as glaciers, have brought cooler and drier weather to the Earth, resulting in the production of enormous ice masses on land and at sea. Sea levels have dropped as a result of these ice formations. The glaciers have also had an impact on ocean currents. The Milankovitch cycles affect changes in temperature and ice volume during glacials and warmer interglacials. These are the result of periodic variations in the Earth's orbit and axis tilt. How has the link between Milankovitch cycles and Earth's climate been established? By examining climatic and geological data. For example, did you know that you may take ice samples and learn about how the climate has evolved over millennia? The same can be said for marine sediments and carbonate deposits. Finally, the measurements can be compared against astronomical cycles to check if they correspond. When you observe those peaks in the plot, that's what scientists refer to as a termination event. It is a moment during a glacial cycle when the transition from full glacial to full interglacial climates is relatively swift. On the graph, terminations seem like steep legs. They bring about a great global revolution. During such occurrences, the Earth's temperature rises dramatically, resulting in a fundamental restructuring of our planet's ecology. 
Such environmental changes can result in significant changes in topography. Rising floods may submerge portions of previously exposed terrain, demanding new ways of transportation. Residents may have to rely on boats or airplanes to visit regions previously accessed by train. Methane According to a new study, we may be living during one of these terminations. Scientists arrived at this result after researching a well-known gas, methane. Methane is a well-studied molecule in the cosmos, and astronomers are well familiar with it. Methane can even be found in the atmosphere of some planets, such as Mars. Methane, among other things, is critical to life on Earth. It can be found in a variety of locations, including deep below as a secret gas in the Earth. It can be found in regions where there were once plants and animals, such as swamps and wetlands. These objects were buried and transformed into methane over time. However, it is also available in your kitchen. Methane is produced when you prepare meals and utilize natural gas to power your stove. It's hiding inside your house's pipes, waiting to come out and help you prepare delicious meals. But this is not the end of the story. Cows, goats, and yaks may appear innocent when grazing on grass, but they are quietly contributing to a serious environmental problem. These seemingly innocuous ungulates are responsible for one-fifth of all worldwide methane emissions each year. Yes, you read that correctly, methane, the gas that cows can't help but emit, is a metabolic byproduct of the bacteria that live in their intestines. Termites, rice paddies, marshes, and even seemingly innocuous photosynthetic plants all contribute to this methane lunacy. Even more astonishing, volcanoes, those wonderful natural forces, account for less than 0.2% of the Earth's methane budget. And, get this, the volcanoes could be leaking methane created by ancient life. Methane research and how it is emitted can help us understand how ice ages function and where we are headed. Please bear with me as I explain how. Methane's Ascension Ice ages end in three stages, each of which is documented in ice cores reaching back 800,000 years. The first phase begins with a slow increase in methane and CO2 levels, which results in global warming over a few thousand years. This results in the second phase, which is marked by a rapid rise in temperature caused by a burst of methane. The temperature rise then slows in the third phase, which lasts many thousand years. There is a stunning and rapid phase that occurs within a few decades during the termination, which spans thousands of years. Methane levels surge during this abrupt phase, which is thought to be predominantly generated by tropical wetlands. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas that is released into the atmosphere as a result of human activities like as burning fossil fuels, managing landfills, and agricultural practices, as well as natural processes such as wetlands decomposition. Human methane emissions surged considerably in the 1980s as the natural gas sector expanded. These emissions began to level off in the 1990s. However, methane levels began to rise again in late 2006, with no notable changes in human activities to explain it, leaving experts perplexed. Researchers observed in 2013 that this trend was accelerating, and that by 2020, methane was rising at the quickest rate ever recorded. Since 2019, several research have linked this extraordinary increase in methane to skyrocketing emissions from tropical wetlands, mainly in Africa. The change in tropical weather patterns caused by man-made climate change has resulted in the extension of wetlands and enhanced plant growth. These alterations encourage greater breakdown, which produces methane. As you can see, knowing methane's behavior and role is critical because it is a powerful greenhouse gas that contributes to global warming. Scientists can learn about the natural processes and human actions that influence climate change across geological time by examining ice cores and monitoring methane levels. What happens next? The conclusion of each ice age resulted in significant changes to the Earth's surface. The trapped air bubbles and ice inform us that the amount of methane in the air grew dramatically during these eras. 
Over a few thousand years, this led the climate to warm by a few degrees. The main cause of this increase in methane was the expansion of wetlands in tropical climates. There is already substantial evidence that the climate is changing. The Atlantic's ocean currents are slowing and the world's hot zones are growing. Temperatures are rapidly rising in the far north and south, and the ocean is becoming hotter than ever. We are also seeing an increase in extreme weather events. When the ice ages ended in the past, the entire climatic system shifted. This transitioned the Earth's climate from a frigid ice age temperature to a warm interglacial climate. However, we are currently in a warm interglacial phase. It's difficult to predict what will happen next, but some possibilities include reduced summer sea ice in the Arctic, the ice caps in Greenland and West Antarctica becoming thinner or disintegrating, and changes in Atlantic Ocean currents. This could also lead tropical weather patterns to shift closer to the poles. These changes would have a significant influence on the plants and animals that live on Earth, and they could also make it more difficult to raise adequate food in some parts of Asia and Africa. Everything will begin with the Earth gradually warming. As a result, 2024 will be hotter than 2023. Whatever happens in the future, it is critical that we begin lowering methane emissions. If we do not act, the Earth will continue to heat up, each year will be hotter than the previous one. As a result, it is critical that we prioritize addressing this issue. If we do not, we may be heading for an even warmer period of time. Alright everyone, this video ends here. Thanks for watching. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments section and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you on the channel again soon.